been a little while since I have spoken to you <laughs> so today I thought I would pick up my vlogging camera and kind of catch up with you guys just to let you guys know where I have been I have been uploading on YouTube but I haven't actually like vlogged since vlogmas Christmas day that was the last time I vlogged so it's been over a month so I thought I would catch up with you guys today so first of all in um, over January, I like to take the whole month off and just go out and enjoy summer. So like, I'll travel around Victoria, where I live, and I'll just, you know, go to the beach, spend time with my friends and my family. And it has been so much fun. It has been a much needed holiday, let me put it that way. I have, oh, I haven't felt this happy in so long and it's just been so great to be able to just take the time off work and focus on myself. So I did go away a couple of times. So the first time I went to Phillip Island with my friends and the second time I went on a little road trip down the Great Ocean Road with Jared and I did film both times that I was away, but I did like a different style video, so I kind of filmed it differently than like your normal vlog. So it would mean a lot to me if you would go check those out, I will leave them linked down below for you just because I am super proud of how the videos turned out and it will mean a lot to me if you guys would watch them. And when I wasn't away, I was actually working with so many companies. I received so many collaborations over January. It is not funny. Like I legit had a job to do like every three days. I had an item to film or to like take photos of. Um, like I really love doing collaborations because I really want to work in the fashion industry. So to get experience like this means a lot to me and it's super important for me so whenever I get a collaboration it's not really like work to me it just it's more of like a fun thing to do so it's really great that I got to fill up my summer time doing that as well and I was also focusing a lot on myself so if you guys have been watching my videos for a little while you may know that I was diagnosed with a chronic illness which all has to do with my heart so with this chronic illness, it can't be fixed, but it can be managed. So I have to keep exercising and kind of help um, relieve like my stress. If I get stressed out, it gets really bad. So I kind of have to learn to manage my stress. But I did start by signing up to the gym. So not only was that to help my chronic illness, but it was also on my resolutions was to join the gym and just to get fit and healthy again. And I must say it has helped a lot and I've been doing a lot of swimming as well just because summer's really hot, sometimes you don't have the motivation to go to the gym. So I go swimming instead, which has been really great. And also because I wasn't like vlogging the entire time. I was kind of taking a break from YouTube, but I still kind of wanted to film. So I did it in a way that wasn't stressful and wasn't like kind of being involved in my entire holiday. Because when we went away, if I was just vlogging the entire time, like it's not really enjoyable, but the way that I filmed it was more like I pick up the camera for two seconds and then I can go out and enjoy the rest of the day kind of thing. But yeah, <laughs> just definitely go check those out so you know what I'm talking about. Um, um, I've been pretty proud of myself. I didn't buy like any clothes while I was on holidays. Like I think I bought one top from Billabong, but that was more of like a souvenir of my holiday. Um, I've been writing like some blog posts for you guys and I've just been doing like these stuff that's really good for your mental health and kind of taking care of myself and you know, and uh, this, I can't vlog, like, it's been a month and I can't even talk on the camera. <laughs> yeah, I've been, like, writing blog posts, like, keeping on track of my mental health, and it's just been really great. 
I also uh, got a little bit of a tan. I think most of it was from driving around in the convertible, but also a lot of it would be like swimming in the ocean and in the pool every day. Which reminds me, you guys haven't seen my pool yet. I should definitely show you guys today. We can go for a swim. But I think today we can just catch up and I can fill you guys in on what you guys have missed over the last month. So I'm gonna go have breakfast and then I'm probably gonna walk Sam the dog and we'll see where the day takes us. Yeah. Okay, so Sam is Jared's dog, right? And Jared has gone away for the week, so I'm babysitting Sam. And he doesn't do this with Jared when he's walking at his house. He only does it when he's at my house. But every single time we go for a walk, he absolutely refuses. So if you guys know how to like fix this or like why he does this, can you please let me know down below because it is so annoying. Let me show you. So we'll try and walk and he'll just refuse. Like he won't come. Like I can't even get him to go up the driveway sometimes. Like he hasn't gone to the toilet since last night. So like I know he needs to go, but he just won't come. He's doing it again. Sam. Come on. <sighs> what are you doing? Okay, so I just got back from walking the dog. He finally did his business. I just, I don't understand what his problem is. I really don't. But anyway, I received a couple of packages in the mail. Both of them are collaborations. Let me show you what I got. So the first ones I received are these really cute little jewelry pieces. So I got some gold hoops, some of those like face earrings that are in right now. They're super cute. And then I also got a moon necklace. So this lady um, actually makes this jewelry herself and she's selling it on Etsy and she wants me to um, promote her brand on my Instagram so if you are, are interested in these pieces I will have them linked down below for you if you are interested in purchasing them yourself and then the other package is from Meshki I love this 99 problems but my outfit ain't one <laughs> love that so from them I actually got some stuff for their autumn season collection. So they sent me this really cute nude cropped hoodie. I'm actually so excited to wear this. And then they sent me this cream colored bandeau top, which is such a nice color. Then I also got these nude track pants to go with the cropped hoodie. I'm so excited to wear that outfit together. I reckon it's going to look so cute. And then they sent me a knitted mini skirt. This looks like this. And a matching knitted cropped t-shirt. So it's like short sleeved. Like, I'm so excited to wear this set. Like how cute is that gonna look? And also this week I'm expecting like six more packages of collaborations. Like it is insane. Like I had like a two week break where I didn't have any collaborations. And now I've got like eight companies that wanna work with me all in the same week. And it's the same week that I go back to work as well. So I'm going to be so busy on like the weekend. Like I don't even know how I'm going to get through all of this, but <laughs> I'm going to try. But I've just been, oh, I just love the holidays and being able to work with brands like when I want to work. And last week I received my first roster from my actual work and I was this close to crying. Like... <laughs> Oh, I cannot tell you how badly I want to work in the fashion industry and just get out of McDonald's. Like, 
I see, yeah, I'm hoping that all these collaborations, I'll get all that experience and then I'll be able to get a job like that because no, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm so done. <laughs> But anyway, it's like 30 degrees now, so I think I'm going to go swimming. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on my bikini, and I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, so I just got changed into my bikini. I actually got this one from Zaffle a couple years ago. I'm wearing it today just because all of my good ones are in the wash because I wore them down to the beach. But I think my boobs may have grown since I bought this. It's absolutely tiny, but we're just going to have to deal with that today. But this is what it looks like. I really love the green with the pink. And the butt's got like a, a cheeky butt. Is that this? Okay, so while I'm out in the pool, I can't actually film with my camera because it's not waterproof, obviously. So I'm actually going to film on my iPhone. And I just thought I'd show you because a lot of you were asking how I was able to take my phone in the water without it getting damaged. And I actually got this case from Essex Go. So it's like a massive phone case that allows you to put your phone in it and it completely seals it up so you don't have to worry about water getting in and you can take it and use it underwater just like you normally would at all so like you can browse Instagram, you can Snapchat, you can film, you can take photos, everything and um, it just yeah it protects it from the water and it has like a lens and a lens cap so you can get some really nice shots under the water so if you guys are interested the brand is Essex Go. And I think it was about 250 Australian dollars, but when you think about it, $250 is a lot cheaper than replacing your phone if it gets wet. So yeah, that's how I've been taking all the photos and videos on my phone underwater. Let's go swimming. Alrighty guys, so we are just about to go swimming. Now, whenever I have friends over for like a swim and stuff, they always say that my pool looks like a resort pool. <laughs> so I thought you guys might be interested in seeing what it looks like. Alrighty. Are you guys ready? This is my pool. out of the pool and had a shower hence the towel on my head <laughs> but I haven't had lunch yet and I haven't eaten since like breakfast so I'm gonna go have some lunch and probably edit this vlog 
but as I am going back to work next week you'll be expecting a lot more vlogs from me now that I'm not on holidays anymore and you should also look out on my Instagram over the next uh, probably about a month because I'm doing like a lot of collaborations and some of them are really cool giveaways and I have lots of discount codes for some really cool products and stuff so be sure to check that out. But I really hope you guys enjoyed my first vlog of 2019. It was really great to pick up the camera again. I'm sorry if it is a little bit awkward as I have been out of practice for a month. But if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And don't forget to turn on the push notification bell as well to be notified when I upload a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!